I'm back. I'm adequately hydrated. There's just enough water in my glass to keep me going. I've got my knuckles glass, by the way. Makes me chuckle. So, now, I'm moving right on to Ninjin Clash of Carrots, a game I keep incorrectly calling Clash of Carrots Ninjin. I don't know why, I don't know how that happened, but I'll try to address it correctly from here on out as Ninjin. So yeah, I guess thank you to Pocket Trap uh, for providing the review key at request uh, for this game. I asked for it and they delivered. Actually, it might have been, I can't remember whose email it was. It may have been Modus, the publisher, <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> Either way, this came down the line and I got it and it was a good time. I don't remember which one of my friends played this, but someone played this and told me, yo, you got to get in on this. And here I am. Uh, settings. Handheld aspect. Oh, I see. The aspect ratio is different for the handheld mode. Interesting. Oh, so it defaults to a smooth filter. I don't know about that. I'm going to take that off and go super sharp. Play. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's two player, right? Uh, I'm going to go with this guy. I'm happy with him. <laughs> he seems fine. What is it about rabbits that make people want to turn them into ninjas? Uh, maybe their physical abilities? Their speediness? and I don't know. Because there's animals that I wouldn't want to turn into a ninja. Like I wouldn't want to make like a cow ninja. Doesn't seem useful. I don't know. I like their little two-frame run animations where their legs just kick up. It's super charming. How about a Kung Fu Panda? Yeah, not on my watch. Who would ever design that? Oh yeah, turtles? Yeah, fuck that. Turtles as ninjas? They can barely even move. Why is our sword? Okay, cute. Aesthetically, it reminds me of, like, Patapon a little for some reason. I like how you're kind of like on the go for the levels and you're running about. Also like aesthetically it just looks good, but the way the path is divided into four clear colors, which like helps you gauge space and stuff, is pretty clever. I don't have, and none of the buttons do anything right now other than attack. So hopefully we'll get some new things soon. Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> That's cute, narratively, how they're like, yeah, we're gonna do it. We've got this. They actually had a pretty good plan, but my galaxy, my galaxy brain tactics are much too strong. Oh shit, enemy intros? Nice. I like that. Kinda wish they did that for the first two enemies, but hey. Oh, right stick has projectiles, okay.
for Baku as in Bakuhatsu, as in bomb. Or, no, Bakudan is bomb, isn't it? Bakuhatsu is explosion, right? I don't speak Japanese. Whoa, cool. That slowdown's nice. Wow, the dash attack feels really effective. Oh, neat! That uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat finisher. <laughs> that game's super rad. I wish it was like a little bit better, but it's pretty fun. The boss battles in that game were super hype. Man, I'm glad we got an S even with that bad accuracy. If accuracy had to be taken in, then I would never get anything. <laughs> Ego1634 says he bought this game and played it for seven hours straight. <laughs> the core gameplay seems pretty fun, so I'm not too surprised. I'm more surprised that there's seven hours of stuff to do. That's a lot. Okay, we got stats as well. Oh, there's online co-op too. Damn. 101 swords? Holy shit. Chests from World 1 alone? Oh, wow. Okay. There is a lot. Yeah, hopefully we'll find a shop or something soon. Carrots work kind of in a fun way as currency in the levels. How they bounce along and kind of eventually go towards the back of the screen. Oh my god, I'm getting bodied by Dangan. He hit me so many times. <laughs>
I'm not sure if there's like a little soft lock when you aim at enemies from a distance. I think there is. Either that or I'm aiming really well, which I don't think is the case. <laughs> Yeah, the Scott Pilgrim game is totally dead, so I see you guys talking about it in the chat. If you want to play it at this point, you pretty much got to pirate it. Which, I mean, whatever, it's a dead game, so I don't think anyone really minds. It's alright, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's a little overrated to be honest. Oh wow, okay. So those you want to try to keep towards the back of the screen, that's neat. It's a fun enemy. Yeah, the soundtrack to the Scott Pilgrim game is really good, no doubt. Why did this Scott Pilgrim game get taken down? Uh, probably just rights expired. Oh, jeez. Okay, but who is this little dog? Oh shit, I'm sorry, I accidentally hit the skip button there. Which is X. Don't even worry about the dog who was in there. Doesn't matter. Are we gonna address that that character? Like, are we gonna save that character now? <laughs> yeah, I took a lot of hits there. Got that A rank. Yeah, here we go, okay.
Thank you for tea. I just got tea delivered. This mug is way too full. Pro tip, when you're making tea, only fill it to like 90% capacity. Because 99 is too risky. It gets all over my desk. So there's Corgi Jr. and then there was the boss, who is also a junior, right? If I'm not mistaken. How do I like my tea? I like uh, black teas usually with milk and sugar. Learned it from my mom. There is a really nice green tea that I've been going to a local tea house recently and getting. Uh, that's like a peach green tea. Really like it. <laughs> His walk cycle is great. Oh yeah, I did see the rainbow carrots dropping before. I assumed they were just like more carrots, but it seems like they're a different currency. Oh, I like how the barks are incorporated in the song too. Oh my god, look at these swords. This one's just called Axe 2. Okay, so we got options, and then we got sidearms, a bouncy shuriken, ninja kunai. Oh, that pierces enemies, okay. And then orbs. Oh, these raise our maximum stuff, okay. Those seem good. Right now, I don't think I need either because I haven't really been running out too much, but let's look at the weaponry. Yeah, I can't really get this nice spear. I can get the carrot sword, but so expensive, but so delicious. It has low power though. Whatever, let's go for it. Yeah, it's actually a little lower power than my current weapon. But it says it's long and has a high crit rate, so let's let's see. Film and Coffee says um, he just found a new tea store and he thinks they're gonna put put him in debt once winter comes around. It's nice to find nice tea houses, isn't it? There's a place near where I live. Oh shit, look at that. That's why it's so weak. There's a place near where I live, like four or five blocks away. I absolutely love it. Can I just say sweet tea in the States is like, it's like fucked up that like some people perceive that as like a healthy choice. It's wildly unhealthy. <laughs> in Canada, we call the same thing iced tea and it's just as bad as a soft drink and it's no secret. Wow, yeah, the range on this weapon's really fun. Yeah, sweet tea's not healthy or a good choice at all. Or it's not as good as soda. Or it's not better, sorry, it's not any better than soda is what I meant to say. If you took out the sugar, it'd be fine. Like, it has more natural ingredients, no doubt, in most cases, but...
You know, I really like the, like, aesthetic of this game being running around. Because by, you know, this game could just be a still room with enemies bouncing about that you move around in. But having everyone, like, running as the setting for the game is pretty enjoyable. It also sets up, like, neat scenarios with the enemies where they only attack in certain directions or what have you. All said, it's, like, pretty satisfying. Also, I'm eating so many hits. <laughs> wow, the range on my sword can hit the explosive enemies without me getting blown up now. Great, I dig that. That was a good wave. Oh, that was not the whole wave. Oh, jeez. They just moved really fast all of a sudden there. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> totally nailed me. Yeah, it helps give context to the, the progress bar as well. You're right. Where you're, like, running a certain distance. Okay, these projections are a lot weaker. Oh, and look, now that we're actually not running in this level, uh, our character can actually turn around and attack the other way. So it, do it actually does have both. That's really neat. Yeah, and now the carrots aren't, like, bouncing off the side of the screen. And now we're back to running. Scott Pilgrim is the PT of beat em ups. Oh, PT is much better. <laughs> People really like the Scott Pilgrim beat em up, but like it's. It's not an amazing beat em up. Alright. It's competent. Like, it's well made for sure, but. I don't think it's. as a beat em up. Like, the cream of the crop in any way. I think it was, like, right place, right time. Where, like, Scott Pilgrim was suddenly really popular, and there was, like, uh, it was still relatively early in, like, indie games blowing up on, uh, PSN and Xbox Live. Retro Revival stuff was still really, really popular at the time. I think everyone just kind of fell in love with it. Myself included. I mean, I, I've finished everything in all the DLC. You know, I, I liked it quite a bit. But. PT has no inherent value anymore, though. The whole point of the thing was figuring it out online with others. I don't know. I mean, like, pe new people can still play it. I, I had a friend of mine just play it for the first time, like, two or three months ago, and he thought it was really cool. I'm like, yeah, it is really cool. <laughs> So this thing's huge. I guess heavy means it swings slow or something. I'll, I'll try using this one. The RPG elements are fun in Scott Pilgrim. I do like that. I didn't like the enemy AI. I could never tell what the fuck the enemy was doing. Like the tells were bad a lot of the time. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry, I hit the skip button again and there's no way to break out of it. I don't like that it's just a tap of the X button. A lot of games still do that, where it's just it's just one button. I always really like having the confirmation, you know? That helps a lot, because it's such an easy mistake to make. Especially when you're streaming. <laughs> so much lower crit rate, but I don't know, let's try it. Broken Ninja Katana, that's what you get for an affordable blade. I guess the price is right. It's 
strangely shaped shield. Raises the duration of post damage. Sure, yeah. Let's do that. Will this Corgi go to college? Maybe if we buy enough. I always like that motivation for the Tem shop. Wow, that swing speed. Yeah, it's strong though. The game feels really different with this weapon. <laughs> He's cute. I like his hair. these enemy patterns right here. They feel so dangerous. <laughs> it's true, they don't actually swing until they like pull back and stuff. It's not just on touch, but they still feel really dangerous. Do I mind if you watch this while playing Minecraft on your other monitor? No, do whatever you want, man. You don't need to ask permission. Some people watch these videos to go to sleep, and you know what, that's cool. I actually didn't sympathize with that, or empathize with that, or maybe that's not right. I didn't understand that until like just recently, where I was having a hard time sleeping, and I ended up watching a bunch of like, um, Drew Gooden videos to fall asleep. Because I like the sound of his voice. any of these guys. <laughs> oh, I like the sound the combo counter makes as it ticks up. I just noticed that there. But it's really nice whoever did it. So can you bypass those? Okay, no, you actually can't go past them. They also don't do damage to you. This gets pretty intense pretty early, too. Like, I've got quite a bit of life right now relative to the amount of damage I'm taking, but like, this is, this is no joke.
Yeah, it's a kunai sword. Ego says this game gets nuts later. He's the one who played uh, seven hours, which is just huge. <laughs> I believe it for sure. I mean, just based on that, it's clear to see. Okay, what do we got down here? Looking to spice up your game? Because we're looking for new competitors. Yeah, I want to go to the arena. Let's do it. Oni TV show, Endless Challenge. Oh, I, I see. That's pretty self-explanatory. Start the game with only your basic weapon set. Completely au naturel. We'll throw in some random goodies. Oh, cool! So like a little vaguely roguelike version of the game. Doesn't Destiny 2 have like a vaguely roguelike section, some some forest or something? Please someone in the chat tell me about it, because I'm super interested. I really liked God of War's Niflheim. I wish it was a little more elaborate than what it was, but I really enjoyed it. To be honest, that's kind of why I'm so excited to play Prey Moon Crash still. I really like the idea of some sort of like... Triple A roguelike or like a roguelike adaptation of a triple A game. I think that's really fun. I see someone saying no, so maybe I'm crazy about the forest. Oh, people wanted the infinite forest to be that, but it wasn't. Oh, I see. Is it just like a normal area, more or less? Is that what it is? Cool, we got a cactus. Oh my god, I'm possessed? No, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> my six hour Destiny LP was pretty cool. I'm sure we would have noticed that at some point. <laughs> it's true. Oh, I see. When that enemy's on screen, or when you're within its uh, radius, anyhow, you can't teleport. Uh, I already took a weapon, so I'll grab this badge that probably gives me more carrots. Oh, there were set templates that the forest would create in Destiny. Uh, okay. That's a shame, because I remember like pre-release being like, wow, if this is a big roguelike thing, I will definitely want to play that. Is that just in Destiny 2, or do you, is it in one of the expansions? Because I, I guess I own Destiny 2 because of PS Plus, but... Oh, it's in the first expansion? Okay. One day I'll play Destiny 2. Oh man, that slab looks good, but... I should probably keep grabbing badges.
Yeah, I found the first Destiny was fun. Um, it's just like the gameplay is fun. It plays really well. It controls super great. Like, actually running around and shooting stuff feels really good. And I mean, if you're just playing through the story or whatever, like, you'll have a good time. It's like when you try to get into the grind, that's where it starts getting ugly. There's fun ideas, too. Like how it's like a, a shared world, not quite MMO thing. So like you'll occasionally just see people running around doing stuff as well. And like public events are cool. Where like a big scenario will just happen and everyone who's in the area will be alerted to it. And suddenly like you and a bunch of other players are just doing something together. It's neat. Mm, let's grab another one of these carrot badges. Get tons of cash. Play Warframe, it's super good. I played Warframe for 10 minutes when uh, the PS4 first launched, um, and now I'm just waiting for the Switch version, but I am gonna try it. Oh my god, I lost so many of the carrots I got off that thing. I don't know what the technique is yet to keep that thing on the screen. Maybe you just want to get behind it and get as many hits in as you can? I don't know. Oh, you can't attack as long as the red ones are around you. Not with your melee weapon, anyway. Nor with your dash attacks, of course. Which one looks like a weapon? None of them. These will all overwrite my stuff. Let me, uh, you know what, I'll take nothing. I want to keep my carrots. I want to get money. Next time I hope I can get a big weapon. If there is a next time. I'm starting to eat it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh shit, were the middle and left ones throwables? I did not realize. That's true. Damn. Uh, sure, let's take this. It's really small. Oh, shit. Oh, look, it just heated up. Oh, no, it does different elements. That's what it is. It does really good damage, so hopefully we can make the most of it. Yo, when the enemies get really aggressive, though, they mob you hard.
Oh, it takes a bit of MP to attack with this weapon, too. So I gotta be thoughtful about when I do it. I saw that in the latest Mario Party you can play as Monty Mole, and there's a mini game wherein you have to hammer Monty Moles, and if you're playing as Monty Mole, he makes this like wince face every time he lines up his hammer to hit, as though he really doesn't want to do it. Oh, he's gonna be cute. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it was bound to happen. I feel like I did all right. Tennis racket. Great for practicing your swing. Yeah. Uh, razor sharp sword. Sharpest weapon you'll ever see. Ouch. A critical rate 80% actually. That's really outstanding. Eye patch. Skilled ninja only needs one eye to defeat his enemies. Cool. I could put that on. I will put that on. Wow, big money. That's a fun little area. Uh, what, do I want to keep my, my tree? Let me try the razor sword. Oh yeah, and costumes, right? Shit, there must be a lot of these things. Uh, he looks great. Oh, I can get a boomerang? Returns the thrower, pierces enemies. It's pretty powerful too. I need that. <laughs> I think I'm good on swords for now. Fan sword. I'm a big fan too, actually. <laughs> Banana sword. Okay, yeah, and all the old stuff. Still haven't gotten to spending the rainbow stuff. Oh shit, whoops. And then there's stones, which we haven't even touched. You know what, actually, as soon as I get into this level... I'm gonna back out real quick. Oh, look, when you quit, you turn into the you, you ninja, ninja whatever again. Kagebunshin no whatever. Right? I'm actually going to hit play online. I kind of doubt there will be anyone online, but let's see. Because if we can get into a game, I'd be down to see what that co-op experience looks like. It's coming. Yeah, I saw people saying in the chat, talking about Warframe, how it's weird since the, the story content to Warframe didn't get added until years in. It's like gated behind a lot of not story content. Yeah, feel free to jump in, Ego, if you want. Um, I, I'm excited to play Warframe and pick up from my old account when, I, uh, when the Switch version comes out. But I, I do wonder how much I'm going to have to play to, to hit the cool shit. I mean, I'll, I'll try, you know. Looks like a much better game than it was ages ago. Kagebunshin no Jutsu. Oh, that, that's the one that makes a clone. I see, right. What's the log one? No, the log one doesn't have a name. They just dodge and they're a log, right? That's just what Naruto's do. I think? I'm really not sure. CT4 silly saying on the topic of Warframe, honestly, I just want DE to take a step back and actually polish up everything they have out so far. Yeah, D uh, Digital Extremes, right? That's their their name. Um, 
yeah, they've been putting out crazy amounts of content. Is, is, that, is that the case? Like, you feel like it hasn't really gotten, like, a big, um, a big round of polish like it might need? I know when I played it on PS4, it felt a little rough. Oh, it is Ego. He made it. Ego was in the chat just before, so let's, uh, let's try this level out. See how this works. Probably is still in the chat. I imagine the level will be a lot easier with two players. It's kind of the sense I get. I don't know if they're rebalanced or anything. Oh, he has a cute character though. Oh my god, he's so much better than I am. <laughs> Oh, this sword I have takes magic as well to use. Ego has a third meter as well. He has a purple meter below everything. Oh, you bump into each other, that's cute. The multiplayer is like frantic and a little messy, but it's fun. It's it's like the same core experience, totally unchanged. It feels good. I assume everyone gets to keep their currency in progress as well, so it seems like a perfectly good way to play the game too. It does support local as well. Uh, this is, yeah, just two players, I'm pretty sure, T4SLA. I don't think it supports more than that. Kuma. It's a good name. Wonder what it means. <laughs> God, Ego's character is so cute with the mask. I like that. Oh my god, he took so much less damage than I did. And he had a higher combo. <laughs> Experience always wins. <laughs> he deserves it. He's been playing the game a lot. Yeah, you know, if, if you and a friend want, like a co-op game to play, this seems like a perfectly good one, honestly. I think I'm gonna wrap up after this cutscene, and we'll move on to our last game of the day. Yeah, if you're... <laughs> Pariah puts it well, he says, if you're tired of replaying Army of Two... <laughs> yeah, this is a perfectly good pick, if you're tired of replaying Army of Two again. I know I've finished Army of Two 50 times, and since there are no other co-op games out there, <laughs> I will now employ this one as a tactic to enjoy my time with friends.
Craig T, thank you for that little write-up on, on Warframe updates. I see what you mean, where like they'll they'll improve systems pretty dramatically, but there's more new stuff that doesn't get as much love. I just can't. So not everything can kind of have an even level of polish in Warframe. I see. Do I still remember that Nier Automata side quest list? Yeah, I did make a list for the side quests for Nier Automata. Uh, if you want, I saw your tweet earlier. I can, I'll, I'll remake the list for you because I made it and I printed it like right when we started the LP and then like I deleted it at some point, but I can remake it again. It wasn't super hard. Cool. Well, I'm going to wrap up here then. Thank you so much, Ego, for hopping in and letting us play the multiplayer and having a good look at that. Because it was good. Oh, and look, so now the other player gets to pick the stage and then you confirm. That seems like a really good way to do it as well. So players can kind of progress evenly on what they need to do and split their focus. <laughs> Even in like a random game, like you and the other player have to take turns doing what you want. That's cool. I dig that. So I'll, I'll, I'll exit out now. Thanks again, Ego. This was good. Ah, uh, okay. Quit to title screen. Yeah, what do the save files look like? Oh, look, they have all your completion percentage on there. That's great. So I guess we're missing five. Maybe those are the elemental orbs. Uh, we got our currency, we got our playtime, and then different progress bars for swords, projectiles, and artifacts. Big into that. And I wonder what goes at the top, right under file one and uh, above the five little pips in that big rectangular space, or those two blocks. I wonder. I don't know. Either way, uh, yeah. Ninja and Clash of Carrots is out. It's been out for a few weeks now, and it seems perfectly good. So if you got a, if you got a bud who you like to play games with, or hell, even if you don't, check it out. Check it out. Thanks again for the review key for this game. I appreciate it.